to request uh, Professor Pulat Mukherjee, Director of IBSD, and uh, Dr. J.K. Shukla to felicitate our guest. So I'm uh, so happy uh, to welcome uh, Professor A.P. Das, uh, so vast in so many fields of knowledge. In fact, uh, uh, what I have seen, more we learn, uh, hear from him, more we learn. And uh, we, uh, uh, and really we are very lucky uh, to get him today uh, with so much of busy schedule. And uh, you will be, uh, when you are getting the, uh, knowing more about him when he is talking uh, to you, that he was the Vice Chancellor of uh, uh, Tamil Nadu University, Central University of Tamil Nadu, and in fact, uh, uh, advisor to World Health Organization, and director of more than five institutes, national institutes in India, including Institute of Life Science, Urbanistan. In, I know what I feel that uh, Sari is one of the person uh, who really has helped a lot in promoting science and technology in our country. And uh, I never thought that uh, he will give uh, this much of time to travel uh, so much of distance for one day and addressing to all of us. Uh, so we are very much uh, uh, glad to be you, sir. Welcome on behalf of IBSD family uh, over here uh, to this. Uh, our uh, center on this uh, IBSD center. Dr. Prabodh Bura, Professor and Head Department of Animal Biotechnology, Assam Agricultural University uh, from Assam, Guwahati. Uh, again, another person who have been working uh, on different areas, on the uh, specifically on the DBT, the societal program. 
where uh, uh, he has been a key person on developing many issues how best the societal things can be developed by use of bioresources and uh, some of those things he will highlight today uh, uh, while he is talking. So uh, IBSD family is very glad to get you Prabhu here. Uh, we have with us uh, Dr. Nita Maheska, Director of the Northeast Institute of Ayurveda and Homeopathy in Silong, Meghalaya. Uh, Madam uh, has been instrumental in establishing many things in uh, Silong Ayurveda Institute, specifically her experience on uh, developing this traditional medicine for a specific disease oriented uh, program no? that is very much appreciated. So we will be hearing from her. Uh, thank you, Madam, for accepting our invitation and coming over here. And we have a uh, 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 very special person here, on Dr. Neelam Rani, uh, is Associate Professor from the Indian Institute of Management, Silong, uh, who has been working uh, specifically on this uh, entrepreneurship development, helping the, specifically on the traditional knowledge that to make into a resource. And that uh, particular aspect is one of the things what uh, we also do at IBSD. So uh, we met her during the G20 meeting, uh, which was in Dibrugar and then followed by Arunachal Pradesh. So uh, Madam will be highlighting on those very perspectives. So we have a very good uh, speaker today who will be uh, uh, sharing their own idea on different perspectives. Um, and as I said that uh, getting these people is, uh, yeah, yeah, we are very much, very our target is that uh, how best we can uh, promote our bioresource and link our own, uh, the resourceful people with the entrepreneurs so that their own business grows and by that way the society develop. And this is our major target of whole uh, bioeconomic process. In fact, we have a series of events, more than 150 events we have organized at IBSD for uh, last two years, uh, one and a half years rather. And uh, yeah, this year was a target to make this Ajari Kaumri move, so by that we started. And then it came up as a program like, say, we had an industry connect program. That name was given uh, from the Ministry of Science and Technology, where uh, really we were able to connect so many industries together. And lastly, in February, uh, in Infor, we had a very big uh, meeting uh, where we had a business uh, meet also with a lot of many industries who want to develop their own product process using the resources from the Northeast. So some of those aspect, aspects will be highlighted uh, by uh, Pradeep uh, while uh, he will make a lot of small presentations about our institute. Uh, just to give you a brief that uh, we have a bio nest incubator here at So our nest program has been is very, very successful. In fact, uh, we are so happy that uh, many of those entrepreneurs have started their business out of that program uh, using the organic floriculture. And uh, in fact, this journey we, uh, was started in uh, October 2021 uh, when uh, all this program was inaugurated by uh, Honorable Vice President of our country uh, at Imphal. And then we have IBSB has its presence in Ceylon, Sikkim, Nigel, and Imphal. So in all these states, we used to organize a series of meetings with a lot of stakeholders in different, different forums where uh, main target uh, with the giving the target that how best this bioresource can be explored and yes their sustainable use and their conservation and preservation as well. Uh, Professor Das is Vice Chancellor of Asian Institute of Public Health uh, uh, the university in Bhubaneswar. Before joining this uh, university he was the Vice Chancellor of Central University of Tamil Nadu. to come over here and interact with him for a little while. Before coming, I was thinking what to speak. Definitely, I'm not going to speak on transmission of biology and control of better one and neglected tropical diseases. So I sent two general topics to the director. And he told me to speak on science in India. Two generalized topics. Nothing specific, nothing specialization. So, science in India, when you say, we always say 
See, we have EOS is a Department of Biotechnology. Technology. That's it. DST, Department of Science and Technology. We always say science and technology. So what is the difference between science and technology? Can any student, students are here, I think. Can any student tell me what is the difference between science and technology? <coughs> okay. Now, science is a way of understanding the world. Through science, you try to understand the world. And technology is a way to control the world. This is the basic difference in science and technology. Science, research, gives rise to technology. And that is where you use to control anything. <coughs> but you know, we have two types of research. Basic research or academic research and implementation research or applied research. But if you put a basic research, it has uncertain utility. It doesn't give you immediate benefit. It gives you benefit. But after but applied research has clear goals and clear targets. Success in the experiments doesn't always translate into success in the marketplace. Basic research the foundation to applied research. Now I would like to mention here that when Chandran three I was discussing while coming with Professor Sahib, that when Chandran three was launched and successfully launched, we all congratulated India. Definitely we should be proud of it. It is a great pride for India. But always remember, it is very difficult to achieve substantial success without failing. So students, when you fail, don't get disappointed. You are already stuck to come one step ahead to achieve the success. We children two would not have failed. Children three would not have made success. The failure of children two contributed very significantly for the success of Chandrayaan 3. And then, I was really as a scientist very much impressed that Prime Minister was in Greece when Chandrayaan 3 was launched, landed. And when, while coming, he changed his route, came via Bangalore, met all the scientists involved in the success of Chandrayaan 3, congratulate each of them individually, talk to them individually. I think a Prime Minister of this Prime Minister's status Visiting is, and congratulating the scientists of Chandar in a so laboratory is more than getting a Nobel Prize. Resource. What do we understand here? To my understanding, what I found was it is mostly the food, the fiber, the fruits, the ornamental plants, and some fuel with, from where economy can be created. So here, the term itself, the bioeconomy, here states the economy created from these products, from these resources, how we can develop our own through these uh, plants, microorganisms. So here we can get into agriculture, textiles, chemicals, and energy. So many predict that bioeconomy will be the key component of the future economic development of uh, knowledge. There are many challenges. We face climate challenges nowadays. We face food and mainly environmental sustainability. Now we are seeing there are floods everywhere. There is so much of deforestation. So we should not be disturbing our bioresources by developing into bioeconomy. So we can see how now the traditional healers, WHO also got into traditional medicine. Now we have the center at uh, India. Here everybody is taking a plunge into bio resources. So we, in deforestation, we can see that all the medicinal plants which were there should not be extinct. Now we see many are extinct too. Here in Northeast, we are very rich in uh, resources, what I find. Here we have, we can see, I had been, I will share an anecdote, when I had been to Sikkim, I saw people living in very remote places. Most of the tribals, I spoke to them while collecting some herbs. 
while I was in Pune is to get all the herbs from Nepal and Sikkim. So I happened to be there collecting uh, some herbs which are very specific to Himalayan region and that is how the regional uh, efficacy like in Lekadong also we see. The same thing happens with the region. The herbs are more vital in that particular region. I happen to ask him, how do you go to the health, if there is any issue with the ailments and all, how do you sustain in this atmosphere? They say, nothing to worry because we have, uh, we get old and that is how we die. A professor in the area of uh, finance. She is a Fulbright scholar. She holds PhD from Department of Management Study, Indian Institute of Technology, Delhi. Uh, in the area of mergers and equation and corporate governance. Good afternoon everyone and before I begin I would like to thank Professor Pramit, uh, Professor Pradeep, uh, Madam Neeta, uh, Borasal and Dasha. It was really a privilege for me to learn from them. Uh, we are a management guy, so we don't speak that much of technology. In fact, we are, all, we are always in an opportunity to translate that technology into a commercial viable proposition. And I will be talking about few of the small businesses which have been incubated at IM Shillong. And most of them, they started their journey after 2015, problem as of now. Right? Everyone is talking about the climate change and do you know the industry across the globe, they are the good news and come and they are also struggling and proposing. In fact, Professor Pradeep sent me a paper where they are proposing the alternative right? extract, produce, consume and throw away. And that is not going to work because it is creating a whole lot of wastage problem. Wastages are translated into uh, carbon dioxide and we already have a very emerging uh, threshold to achieve by 2015. And who is going to do that? You need resources to reverse that climate change and the damage that has already occurred. So the scientists are proposing the circular economy that you are responsible industry in case you are creating any wastage, you are responsible for your wastage. Medical wastage, textile wastage. The one who is creating is responsible and should own that wastage and should also spend on managing that waste so that it is not harming the planet. So, next please. And the good news is, do you know, we have a good news in Northeast because we are amongst the forest. Uh, he is from Umdam Rani. He is also a traditional leader. And uh, his main uh, treatment is mainly on child uh, health. And that is uh, a bone fracture and uh, the stomach related issues. So he is also from the same village, his name is Pinshat Singh uh, Shakti. And actually we have met these two healers earlier also during our documentation. And we have visited their village, and we have gone to the forest, documented all the medicinal plants that these people have been using, including this lady from there. So maximum of them coming here, these are all the, most of them we have interacted earlier in their village for documentation. So this is the first time that they have come here uh, for uh, this meeting. He is also a traditional leader from this uh, 
came up to my area. And uh, he, he mainly treats on this, uh, this uh, colic issues, which is related to the uh, newborn babies, and also on the, this uh, de-poisoning uh, medicines. And uh, I think these are students from uh, Shilong College. Okay, so you can introduce yourself. Your name, uh, your name. Name and uh, the college, <laughs> and which uh, graduate of course. So uh, my name is. I stay in Foxhead and I am currently uh, studying in Shinong College in a uh, bit BSC Microbiology and I am in third semester. My name, my name is Ma'ayi Bin Swara. I am currently studying a degree in Microbiology in Shinong College. Uh, I am from India. So she is uh, Mrs. Kamla from uh, West Janja Hill, the, and she is an entrepreneur in this Lakadong Turmeric Mission. So she is a farmer, and most of her product goes to the uh, Laskin block where they process the turmeric. <coughs> So again, she's also uh, as, uh, an entrepreneur from uh, of Lakadong Mission from the same uh, district, West Janja Hills. And, uh, เดี๋ยวมาเดี๋ยวจะตรวจก่อนครับมาเดี๋ยวมาเดี๋ยวมาเดี๋ยวมาเดี๋ยวมาเดี๋ยวมาเดี๋ยวมาเดี๋ยว
Tentang atum roya ne u lemon grass baru stai kenala. Udul da di peyah di tiu pake UPE udul ko royat awe dia ma. Dalam dan sam sembai wa punya ana. Dari kam de gila ka punya. Bat na teru kum u na teru ini ke kam cari tiwa. Penyarap ni brew ke ba. Syam jinja ke bapang bongdon ke pei tentu kat ke ba ngala isne. Dem tar male ke kam. Tetapi, apa yang akan dikai dia untuk kun, bau nang benai dawai kenbar. Tapi tak boleh. My name is Ba Cleo Pas Tenurum. I am president of one society, this integrated village cooperative society from my my village. We have got this machineries like this. What what kilas and this brass cutter and now we get one my indra pick up government giving us and I cultivate this saitonala and lemon grass which is a valuable grass and I am working this little charity work up to now so I take care this. This children do so good. This stomach pain and this tongue tongue paining and like that. And there are some things that I have forgot. Thank you. Say cheers. Okay.